Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been seeing a lot of car commercials being done in Unreal Engine 5. So in this video right here, we're going to be taking a look at Rush Hour Vehicle Animator, which is a plugin that you can buy in the Epic Marketplace right now that lets you A, rig a car vehicle and import a car inside Unreal Engine pretty easily, to be honest. Now, real quick, just a disclaimer, I am sponsored to make this video right here, but at the same time, I did purchase this plugin before I made this video because honestly, this is probably the easiest thing right now that you can get to animate cars in Unreal Engine 5. So with that being said, I'm not going to create an entire tutorial on how to do this because Philip actually did an amazing job at creating his own tutorials about this plugin. But what I'm going to do is just kind of show you what it kind of looks like. All right. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5 project that I'm working on right now. So one of the benefits about this plugin is that you actually get a blender add on as well on top of it that lets you rig your cars before you import it here. So once you're done exporting your car, you can now go to Unreal Engine and import that car. And what's cool about it is the plugin actually has a training blueprint that you can use as well to train your car's handling, if you will. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. I'm not going to go over the vehicle importer because, again, Philip made amazing tutorials on how to do this. But let me show you the training menu here. So I'm going to right click, run the editor and load the training environment, which we actually we're actually in that environment already. And the vehicle type, I'm going to select one of the ones that I exported out of Blender. And all I have to do now is just go ahead and say begin training. And what this is going to do is put the car that we rigged from Blender into different types of scenarios and really auto tune the car's handling and speed, which is really cool. So you can see this one right here straight out of Blender is acting pretty darn crazy. But by the end of this training, which takes 12 minutes, your car is going to perform a lot better. Right, so in here, I can actually change the camera by just praying C, change the camera around. Additionally, I can switch over to the different types of training that the car is doing. So I think this one is like a speed one. So once this training is over, it's going to save a file that you can use to animate the car. So again, I'm going to stop this here because I actually already trained this car here. And I'm going to open up the actual map that I'm working on right now for fun. Okay, so here we are in the map. And what's cool about this is it's actually using spline for the animation. So I just have a straight line going through right here. And again, the full tutorial, I'm going to give the links in the description below. Go check it out. But it's super easy. Here's the blueprint of a spline, really just a spline going from here all the way to the end. And once that's done, I'm going to go to the details. And I'm just going to select the car that I trained, 22 generic supercar right here. I'm going to go ahead and select a driver profile. He's got a couple in here. And additionally, he's got some vehicles here that you can try yourself. You don't have to buy a car. You can try one. I think he has three in here. So let's just say with a racer right here, and we have the vehicle type with generic super, which is the one that we just trained. Miles per hour is good. I'm just going to set everything just like that. And honestly, after that's done, it's going to make sure in world settings that we have a the rush hour spectator game mode. And if I press play now, you're going to see that our car is going to pretty much drive on its own. Now, this is pretty darn cool because as you all know, I've tried to drive using a controller and I'm pretty terrible at driving with a controller. So what this is going to allow you to do is simulate car movements, but at the same time, tweak the car's path because it's using spline. Pretty much if you use a take recorder, if you mess up a turn or something, you're gonna have to start over. But with this one, you can just stop it, change the spline a little bit, and then press play and watch the entire thing. And you have your car animation. And again, it's gonna automatically stop for you too, which is pretty darn cool. So I'll press stop and let's just replay that again so you can see it. So in a nutshell, it's pretty much just a three-step process. You go to Blender, rig your camera, go to training, and then just animate your car and create your animation and then set your cameras and lights and pretty much render. You're pretty much good to go. This is by far the easiest 
method as far as car animation goes. And as you all know, I've done a couple of car animations here on the channel. Uh, the take recorder way is kind of like the manual way. Now you can use the AI, what you're seeing right now with the plugin, or you can also do the manual as well if you want to do it that way. So you got two options versus having one. Um, I am <laughs> going to be using this plugin a lot, to be honest. Like I said, I actually purchased it before Philip actually asked me to make this video right here because I told him, I said, hey, man, this, this is an amazing tool. And additionally, if you join his Discord, he responds pretty darn quickly. And the feedback that I've been giving him, he's taking seriously and which is really good i love it when sellers actually listen to their customers because again the simple mode a lot of people wanted a simple mode and he delivered it within a week pretty much you can just do one click rigging in blender which is amazing again so what i'm going to do though is actually suggest you watch the videos on this plugin first, the tutorial, just to see how you like, how it goes. But I'm telling you again right now, as you all know, I don't really make a lot of product reviews here on the channel unless I think it's very useful. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is Rush Hour Vehicle Animator by GD Corner. Go check it out in the marketplace. Again, check the links in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.